Hi, we're Mike and Julie Wishy, and we've experienced Border Bliss. Bliss. Yes, uh, highly recommend it. Jump on the bandwagon. You can't find a better company to do your home remodel. Come see our house and you'll see how awesome they did. I'll start with the project as a whole. We did um, a new roof. Uh, which has uh, included all the shingling and all of that stuff, ripped it off. They did the gutters and uh, we did windows and doors and siding. And then we had a bathroom remodel. Well, working with the Bordner team was fantastic. Um, they, uh, I'll start with the reason we chose Bordner was they have a great program to be able to do all these projects together. And that's what we were really advised to look for, a contractor that we wouldn't have to sub sub out all the work and then um, so they were local and uh, so we checked them with them first and they were able to do our project for us and um, and then they had a great karma about them the teams that were out here all had um, their own personality you know each crew that came in and it was kind of fun to meet them all and I really enjoyed um, watching their work ethic and how they rolled and he worked from home so he was able to you know just be with them you know every day I'd come home and check you know or they'd be here before I left for work and um, just each group that came were so um, kind and um, we like I said we prayed we prayed with each group that came for their safety and for the project and um, and I mean, that all started from the very beginning when we had um, the very f our first experience with Jacob. He came, he was our design consultant, so he came for the very first time. And like I said, when he walked in the door, I felt like, um, you know, I could just feel his spiritual presence, his countenance. And um, we spent several weeks with him. And um, each time we met, we prayed when we got there and we prayed when he left. and and um, his prayers were always for guidance for us and good stewardship over our finances, you know. And um, so we had like, I think, that, I think that that's what made the project so special for us is because we were able to have, you know, a relationship. And yeah. that's what we really wanted. We wanted someone that, that um, was, so we shared our story of our house with Jacob at the very, on the very first night that it was my grandmother's home. It was, we called it our love story house because every, everybody that's ever come and worked on our house, we felt like God placed them in our path. And um, so after I shared all that stuff with him, I said, now we want people that are gonna work on our house that are respectful of our home, that know what this house means to us. It's not just a structure, it's a, it's, it's a place. And um, so after I shared all that, I said, do you think that your company is that company? Because we had fully intended on getting more than one estimate. And um, he says, I think we're all that kind of people. <laughs> and um, anyway, uh, after we'd gone through weeks of this project, of picking out things and meeting with Jacob, um, when, he came, when it came together and we'd picked everything out, um, Jacob brought the contract and we sat down and it was Easter week. And um, Mike said, well, you know, this looks great. You, you've done a wonderful job, Jacob, and, but we'd really like to meet your supervisor, the person that's gonna be in charge of everyone. And he got a little, he could tell Jacob was like, oh, you're not gonna sign the contract tonight, you know? And uh, we said, no, you didn't do anything wrong, but we, we just wanna see if we jive with this person. Yeah, it was just a real simple request. We wanted to meet the project manager. I'm in project management or delivery, execution of projects. And sometimes in the zeal of the moment, the commercial folks can promise things that can't be delivered. So we wanted to just verify with the crew uh, when they come in and walk around, do a walk around. It was, uh, Julie described it very well when she described it. It was like as if the disciples had showed up. It was Good Friday it was really on an inconvenience for them to rush that around. And Jacob didn't just bring the project manager. He brought the project manager, another associate project manager. He brought their boss onto the site, Cliff. Um, and we also had um, Kevin, I think, Kevin it, was, Jacob's was Jacob's boss. boss. Yeah. So 
they didn't just come in to just sell this. They really came to show this commitment. And it was Good Friday. And uh, as we said, it, we offered prayer when it was over. It was really enlightening for us. At the end of that process, we just really felt like we had completed our diligence. We had a, we had a company. We like working in Raytown and the, because they know our community. And then um, they had just convinced us that this was not going to be an ordinary project. They were going to come and treat our home with respect. That's what we were looking for. And they did. And it was, um, and moreover, the, even than that, um, mm. the, the young man that was our supervisor um, and even Cliff, um, they, when, we, when we'd have to do a walk around for each project that was done, you know, um, for them to get like teary eyed and emotional with us, you know, like these windows are beautiful, aren't they? And then we just hug each other, and, you know, and, you know, this is real beautiful. You'd cry about that, you know, but um, that was really special too, just to, just to know how deeply they wanted this for us and how, how they knew how long yeah. we'd waited for this moment to happen. And then it, that's what made it more special because they knew how special the, the house was to us. Well, it, it actually it. rolled like uh, like the tide, um, the the experience. The owner, Rob, 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 yeah. Rob wanted to meet us because of the story that was being generated around their shop over the course of these several weeks. And it was really interesting to, to really not just partner with a business, but to partner with um, community and people who are respectful of us as human beings, our budget, everything about it, our, our home. They treated this like a, our home. And that was, that was made it a real yeah. quality job from beginning to end. Well, and then, you know, each time a project was done, Cliff or, you know, our supervisor would come and say, did, did everything go okay? Did you oh, like the people? Judge. Did they treat you respectfully? And, and it, I mean, looking around the pro I mean, when the roofers got done, very first time, you couldn't even tell they'd even been here. I mean, there was not one, nothing in the yard at all, in the plants, nothing. And I told Mike, I said, it's like they took a, a, a big old vacuum cleaner and sucked it all up or something. But it, it was just amazing to me. But, but just the follow-up each time. Yeah, the attention to detail. Each at the end of each process, the walk around and the identification of a thing here or a thing there. Uh, yeah, it was just a complete experience. Ordner Bliss. Yeah, <laughs> that's what we've heard that. We're, we're, we are um, uh, Bordner fans through and through. And um, I guess the only advice I would give to anybody that would want to use Bordner, be real and honest with them because people don't know what you want unless you tell them, okay? Right. And um, they can be the most wonderful people in the world, but, but they, want, they want you to give them your, their, your input so they can do what you want to have done. You can't expect people to do stuff on your home if, you, if you're not specific what you want or you're not honest with what you want. And so I would say be honest, be specific with them and let them do their magic. Down to, any, nice. down to any, down to any detail, down to any, any detail. Any detail, even emotional detail, like what we did. We're like, this, I don't want people working around here that aren't respectful of our, our outside property, of our inside property, and, and that, that you don't think of us and what our project's about while you're working with us, you know, on our home, you know. Um, so I would just say, you know, be intentional with what you want to share with them right off the bat. Because you can't, you can't fault people for not doing what you want if you don't tell them what you want. And that's what I would say.